we want a strong dollar? By www.forexconspiracyreport.com If Trump supporters get their way and the new president and Congress stimulate the U.S. economy, prices and wages will go up and the U.S. Federal Reserve will raise interest rates to stave off excessive inflation. Higher rates will result in a stronger dollar. Do we want a strong dollar? What if a too strong dollar hurts U.S. exports? Would a superheated economy with a strong dollar end up with a recession and market collapse? Bloomberg writes that a strong dollar could bash the economy. The headlines are full of scary reports about the dollar's rise to a 14-year high against a basket of six major currencies. Its strength will hurt U.S. manufacturing while triggering capital flight from emerging markets, economists say. What's really alarming, though, is that even though the dollar has jumped 6% against the euro and 12% against the yen since the U.S. presidential election, it remains well below its historic highs. If its rise to date is causing trouble, imagine how much worse things could get if it went on a serious upward run. The stock market is up because investors believe that Trump's plan to spend for infrastructure, lower taxes, and repatriate offshore corporate capital will bring about strong economic growth. If this occurs, the Fed will certainly raise rates and quickly drive the dollar up. This will pull money out of emerging markets, threatening a global recession which will not help U.S. stocks, manufacturing, or workers who are counting on Trump for better jobs. Can we help it? The dollar strength is not all about the USA and US fiscal policy. China, Japan, the European Union and Great Britain all have their problems leading to weaker currencies. CNBC describes China's dilemma regarding UN volatility. China is struggling to keep the UN from falling too far and too fast. Their strongest weapon is selling their foreign reserves to buy back UN. He noted that the PBOC was likely to use three methods to control the pace of the renminbi's depreciation, foreign exchange intervention, interest rates, and capital controls, but added that those would all present very challenging side effects. Intervention was the most straightforward way to control the currency, but the bite out of foreign exchange reserves could become an issue, Robertson said. On Saturday, China reported that its foreign exchange reserves fell for a sixth straight month in December, declining by $41 billion for the month to $3.011 trillion, the lowest since early 2011. We've seen a meaningful decline in reserves over the last two years, largely as a function of FX intervention, he said. If they continue to intervene in the FX markets, they will categorically take the FX reserve number through $3 trillion. As the yuan falls, wealthy Chinese are moving their money offshore and into other currencies like the dollar. This accelerates the fall and strengthens the dollar. Do we want a strong dollar? Can we help it? If the dollar is not managed properly, and especially if Trump brings on a trade war over imports, the dollar will soar as the U.S. and world economy tank. For more insights and useful information about Forex markets and trading, visit www.forexconspiracyreport.com.